Hi and welcome back to Bloxy. In today's episode, we will take a look at how to implement anchor navigation on your website. And what does this mean exactly? We'll find out in the moments to come. Let's say that your brand new website is something very exquisite and you've decided to lay out all the information on one page only. In many cases, this single page can get pretty long and your visitors need to have a way to quickly jump to a specific section to check out the relevant information. This is where anchor navigation comes in handy, and this is what we'll be exploring today. So let's get started. We will split the video into two parts. The first one will showcase a very basic example, just to get the feel for how this works. While in the second part, we will take a closer look at a real world example, in addition to getting around a little WordPress quirk. Part one. Let's start by quickly creating a sample page and integrate a few anchors. Sure enough, Go to a blank Gutenberg canvas and create a few sections. We'll use some demonstrative blocks here just to speed up the process a bit. Once our layout is defined, we will need to assign the anchors to our headings. Simply click on the heading block and look to the right at the advanced section. Notice the HTML anchor field. Here's the place where we will define our sections links. Let's give them an example name. Great. Now we're ready to move on to our menu section. We'll create a little menu that handles our anchor links. You'll need to use the custom link feature to insert these links. For the URL, we'll need to insert the anchor using the hash sign, something like hash anchor one. After the links have been inserted, assign the menu to the header position and save the changes. Let's quickly take a look at the front end to see how the system works like. Perfect. It looks like it's working. Now let's move on to part two, where we will take a closer look at a real world example and how you might want to tackle things. Part two. Okay, so now it's time to implement this using a proper example. Remember that we've talked about a little WordPress quirk. We'll check that out in this section as well. First, we will need to assign a unique ID to each of our page sections. Let's edit the page with the Gutenberg editor and check out the options. For our demonstration purposes, we will use the stackable blocks, but each block library should have a similar set of options, so you might need to look around a bit. We start with the arrow section. Let's give it an ID, select it, click on the advanced tab and scroll down to the advanced section. Notice that we get an empty field called HTML anchor. Give it a name and move on to the next section. Rinse and repeat as the technique is the exact same for all the other sections. Once we're done with our page editing, we're ready to move on to our menu system. We will start by creating a blank menu set and define the anchors. Don't forget to use the custom link feature, as WordPress doesn't know how to detect anchor navigation, sadly. Let's start by adding a new entry for a home. Expand the custom link section and enter the desired label. For the URL, we will have to note down the relevant anchor that we've set previously. Remember to use the hash sign in front of the anchor name, so for our hero section we will enter hash hero dash section. Great. We're also done with our menu system. Let's check out the front end for a quick glance at what we've achieved so far. The system seems to work correctly, but there's one little quirk. The menu highlighting feature doesn't work and the visitor can get a little bit lost in navigating the site. This is the WordPress quirk we've been talking about. WordPress doesn't know how to work with this kind of menu navigation system. Because this kind of navigation can have a lot of use cases and one size doesn't fit all, so it wouldn't be fair to assume something. But have no fear, we can easily fix this with the help of a little plugin called Page Scroll to ID. This plugin modifies the core behavior of WordPress and brings correct link highlighting to the anchor menu, meaning that the current shown section 
will get highlighted in the menu once the user has scrolled to it, and so on. Let's go back to the WordPress dashboard, click on Plugins, Add New, and search for Page Scroll to ID. Install, and activate the plugin. We're not done just yet, as we'll have to configure a few settings inside of the plugin. First, we need to modify the highlighted CSS class, as we've built in support for this plugin. Sure enough, find the field and modify it with the ct-highlight class. A few other options worth noting down are the allow only one highlighted element at a time and keep the current element highlighted until the next one comes into view boxes. These help you if your sections are too short or too long, depending on the use case. Now that we are finally done with all the setup, let's visit the front end once more to check out what we have achieved. Voila! The links are now working as intended and changing their highlights as we scroll. And that's a wrap. We hope this tutorial has come in handy if you wish to create a unique design for your website. It definitely helps for landing pages and intricate designs. As usual, if you have any questions or simply want to share something with us, we'll be waiting on your message at creativethemes.com through the support section. Until next time, take care and have a good one.